Hello everyone. Today in this session we will be introducing you to the Kickstart Generator Lab app. This Lab app allows you to generate the Kickstart configuration files which are widely used for automating OS installations. Let's understand what is a Kickstart file. A system administrator can create a single file which is known as a Kickstart file containing the answers to all the questions that would normally be asked during a typical installation. Why this Kickstart Generator Lab app? This application helps you to generate the Kickstart file based on user inputs which can be useful for automating RHEL OS installations. Once the Kickstart file has been generated, it can either be included with boot media or made available on the network for easy and consistent configurations of new systems. The next few steps will explain the process of accessing this lab app and enable you to get the understanding of how it works. In order to access this lab, visit the URL https forward slash forward slash access.redact.com slash labs. On the lab app page, search for the kickstart generator and then go to the app. This lab app gives you the options of creating basic to very advanced level kickstart file depending upon the requirement of the installations. The very basic options include some of the mandatory options such as adding the root password, selecting installation sources, clearing MBR, removing all existing partitions, selecting automatic partitioning, adding grub password if required. The app also gives you options of selecting the advanced parameters such as package architecture, installation environment, network configurations, security options. A new security option now also allows the deployment of systems that are compliant with a security profile such as PCI DSS or OSPP. And lastly, we also have an option to add the pre and post installation scripts. Once you are satisfied with your configuration, simply click the download button and bundle the kickstart file with boot media or deploy it on your network for easy and consistent configurations of new systems. Hope this information is helpful. Please do check out our other videos which explain the usage process for other customer portal lab applications such as yum config helper, convert to rel, etc. Thank you for watching.